Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olean's.com, Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 4, Closed Paths 2. The two main tools that you will be using to create designs are, are going to be the Manual Punch and the Line Region Tool. I have moved these down to my quick access bar so they will always be visible despite whichever uh, tab that I'm on. I will still be able to see my manual punch and line region tool. I'm going to use the line region tool and I'm going to use a close straight tool as opposed to the open straight. So let's choose the close straight tool and I'm going to click left click one, two, three, and for my fourth click, I'm going to double click it. It automatically makes a closed path, but I noticed there's no region in there, and I thought I had a region. So I'm going to use my select tool, which I can get from the far left hand corner, upper right, left hand corner, or I also have it in my uh, quick access toolbar. And I'm just going to go up to this region so or I can also under the attributes go to the region so but I'm going to get used to using the quick access toolbar and I'm going to just turn it on and that put in my fill stitch now you notice the default for this tool is a zigzag stitch and a fill stitch and I want to talk a little bit about the zigzag stitch first. Right now it's green. I can change the color to another color if I like. I can undo it, change it back to the green. But I want you to look closely at the length of the zigzag stitches. Now the default for the length of the stitch, if we use our measure tool, which is also on our quick access tool, I'm going to left click it and drag it and if you look at the lower left hand corner follow my uh, arrow here you see how those numbers are changing it's right down here but as I get up closer keep looking on the left lower corner you see that it's two millimeters that's the default length now if I want to change the length I say I don't want it that wide I have to switch from the color and you notice up here on this bar you got color sewing attributes and text attributes. We're going to sewing attributes and it tells me the zigzag width is two millimeters which we verified. We can make that a much more narrow zigzag or outline stitch. Now I can tell you from experience one millimeter is a very short stitch and it often can get uh, too tight together, can break, uh, your, your, your thread will break uh, and plus the density is too close together. So I'm going to make that 1.3 millimeter, make it a little bit longer because that little bit of length will make the difference and also I'm going to lower the density just a few so that the stitches are not so close together. That's going to be more than enough adequate color. You can also make that zigzag stitch much, much, much more wide if you like, more than the, the default. However, that uh, that's 10 millimeters, that's as high as it will go. And uh, that's a little bit too much if you ask me. I don't like to go any more than 8 on a... Uh, eight millimeters on a stitch length. And you can resume all your defaults just by going to the little house and that's your default or your home settings. So now it is back to two millimeters uh, in length and density 